Previously, we looked at homonuclear diatomic molecules, which are molecules that have two of the same atoms. Now, let's take a look at a heteronuclear diatomic molecule, such as Cn-. As always, the first step is to comprise the number of valence electrons in the atomic orbitals. Carbon has four valence electrons and nitrogen has five. And the minus charge gives us one more electron, yielding 10 electrons total in our MO diagram. For the atomic orbitals, both nitrogen and carbon are p-block elements, and each contribute one s-orbital and three p-orbitals, making the total number of atomic orbitals eight. The second step is to fill in the atomic region of the MO diagram. In C and minus, the two atoms are different, so they will not be on the same energy level in the MO diagram. Nitrogen is more electronegative and is better able to hold its lone pairs, making it more stable and lower on the energy scale. As a result, the atomic orbitals of nitrogen are slightly below the corresponding orbitals of carbon. We fill in these atomic orbitals with the valence electrons of each atom. Nitrogen gets 5 and carbon gets 4. But remember, we have an extra electron because of the negative charge. We put this electron on nitrogen because it's more electronegative. In the third step, we fill in the molecular part of the diagram. We get a sigma bonding orbital and a sigma antibonding orbital for mixing the two s orbitals. The mixing of the p orbitals yields a sigma bond, a sigma antibond, and two pi bonds and two pi antibonds. But remember, that whenever we have a boron, carbon, or nitrogen, the order of the first two orbitals flips. So instead of having the typical sigma pi, pi star, sigma star, what we actually have is pi sigma, pi star, sigma star. Now, it's time for our checkpoint. Let's make sure the atomic orbitals equal the number of m orbitals. We have eight atomic orbitals and we have eight molecular orbitals. So we're all good to go to the last step. In the last step, all we have to do is fill in the MO diagram with the 10 valence electrons that we had. And that's it. This is the finished MO orbital diagram for C and minus.